Hey basketball fans, Christopher here. Thanks for checking out the game. Lakers in the purple, and they certainly passed the eye test. And taking on the Jags, and this is seven and eight year olds. Lakers will start. Number one, work from left to right, and quickly go to the right side. Kyle pick him up, bounce pass to the top, into the paint. First shot of the game up, bounces out, and collected by Cam, and loses it. One collects, holds on to it, and will let his team get down court. Kyle pick him up at the top, screen set. Back to the middle. Bounce pass outside, 24. Shot goes up, bounce off the front of the rim, and Perez has his second rebound of the day. Eight minute periods. Running clock, and the first offensive outing for the Jags. Kai, high dribble, double teamed, back to Perez. And he's gonna take the deep shot, and short, not sure if the ball got blocked, but it was into the Lakers' arms, and their third trip down the court happening now. Kai keeping that defense, one. Picks the dribble up, and then swapped out of his hands, he'll keep going there. Kai guarding him well. Hands up, and then a travel call. So the travel call rarely called at this age, but perhaps if it's too egregious or whatever the reason. Kai into the underneath side and fouled on the shot. He'll go to the line and shoot. Kai looking for the first points of the game. Clock moving, five minutes to go in the first. And he can step up to the blue line. It looks like there's a blue line with some paint on it, or tape rather. Short on the front. Shot number two. Lines up. Howard delivers off the glass. Won't go. Loose for a second. Perez fighting for it. And 24 secures it. Here come the Lakers. And one will work the point. Kyle pick him up. Three looking to set the screen. Into the paint he goes, uncontested now. And the layup drops. So the early lead belongs to the Lakers. Hot pass over to Perez. And he's misfires and misses the goal caught by the riff. 15 players on the roster for the Jags. And so they'll send them in in three waves. And they're beginning to get ready over on the side right now. Gaio nearly intercepts that one. But the shot! Rattles home, and the Lakers have a 4-0 run. Howard working quick, trying to make use of his time in the game. Crosses one over. Still alive on the right side, drives to the goal. Layup, finger roll style, and then loose for a second. And Howard will tie him up, and they'll whistle. Rips it free, gets the shot off, front of the rim. Back up is McKellar with the ball. Won't go, and the Lakers come down with it. He'll let him get up with it and then pass it off. One off the right side shoulder. Kai nearly strips it away. One hangs on to it and Kai wrestles around trying to jump ball. And they're going to call the travel for rolling around with the ball. So a few fresh feet in the game for the Jags in the form of three. Howard and McKellar stay in. And... Howard remains at the point. Seven works to his right. High dribble, almost lost it. Trying to cross over at the top, behind the back, into the paint. Now he's gotta pass it. Finds McKellar on the run. 16, fires from the baseline, short. Looked like it was on frame, just wouldn't drop, and one has it back in his hands now, with a minute 50 in the first quarter. Calls for the screen. Three will come and try to deliver it. Howard checks over his shoulder, sees it, runs with him. One pulls up. Fires that ball, or goes in. It had zero revolution on it, but he found a way to put it in. It's a 6 0 run. So 33 works and then delivers back. And that's percent. Kai uncontested, high off the glass, too high, and into the waiting arms of Purple. One continues to work that point guard spot. Picks up the dribble, then goes again. Right side, Kai stays with him, hands up. Bounce pass, and Gaio nearly had a chance at it. 
Schmidt picks it up and works back to the left side. Green sneakers and all, rainbow pass to his man, 24, and then rolls it across the rim, had a chance at it, and then a jump ball situation. Percent will give it to Howard with 30 seconds in the first quarter, and now they'll have to reset, and they'll have to work quick to get down court and get a shot off. Not sure if anybody will holler to Kai and let him know what the clock situation is. It's hard to see, and it's hard for the coaches to see. So right side, 15 seconds to go for the horn sounds. Kyle, good cross over there, one staying with him. It'll be hard for Kai to get the shot off. Eight seconds to go, gotta get this shot off. Backs him up, puts it up, and drops it in! And Howard, meticulous with the art form to get the bucket to go before the period ends, and the Jags are on the board. So start of quarter number two, clock starts, and we got five freshmen in. Darren, Gabriel, Pudi, Sarin, and Elisha all on the floor for the first time today. Floor remains pretty much the same for the Lakers as they've just got one sub today. Ball loose for a second. Darren rolling with him. Pass underneath, 24 right there, turns and shoots high. Three rebounds, and he's high as well. And Elisha there to board it and rolls out on Lucky. Jags play a scrappy brand of basketball. 24 catch and shoot, won't go. Three there again. Drops down, back up, short on the shot. And taller than everybody, just reaches up and gets his own board and puts it back in. And the height, really an advantage for the Lakers. Darren works down, trying to go past 24. All the way to the left side, baseline shot and foul. At the line he goes. So referee tells Darren he can move up to that light blue colored line on the floor takes aim and finds the back of the rim for shot number one. A second chance here for number zero. Takes aim and same result off the back and two fours got him another board. Jags will retreat. As we move past the six minute mark in the second quarter, Darren, and then one stays with it. Finds two four, open board and unlucky there. One will try his shot from the left side, rolls across, and the Jags are going to have to get a rebound. One fires another one, and three's there to put it back up, and five in a row so far. Won't drop, able to save it. High pass over, and Darren finally's got him one. And thought about racing down court. Still will go with some pace. Step back, shot goes up and foul. He's back at the line again. Eight to two the score. Darren trying to cut into it. And this time banks one home and does so. Shot number two, a chance to cut the lead in half. And a little deep, but Gabriel's got a board. Needs to turn around and go back up with it, but he dribbles out. And then got confused on which way. 2-4 just took it from him. And just a little bit of a brain fart, as they call him there. One calling for the screen. Darren staying with him. Bounce pass over to 2-3, and Pudi will get called for the reach in. Inbound, four minutes to go. Lakers right back to the passer. Schmidt takes the shot on frame but deep, and nobody blocking out for the Jag, so two just gets it right as he comes in off the bench and knocks one down. Sarnal inbound to Darren. 10-3 ball game. Darren thought about crossing over the left, then back to the right side. A deep three ball off the front of the rim. Wouldn't go, and one's got a board. Hot pass to the left side, three, fires another one a little deep, and Gabriel trying to get a board, but rolls off the front of his body. So Darren stays in, four fresh players for the Jags. And a foul called there, I think, on Howard. Two shots coming for sixth. And nails the first one. Eight point game now, off the board and rattles out, unlucky there, three's got him another rebound. Turns around, high throw, two is there. And then a shot, but fouled on it. And we're back at the line. Brown called for the infraction. So two fires the first shot right away. Just a catch and shoot from the referee. Hits the back of the room and misses. He'll go another one here and shoot right away again. And same result. Three there, though, to reach up and go up at it. And then three jags. Gabriel winds up with it. Moving right to left. Looks at his coach, says, yep, go. And Gabriel works himself to the corner, back to the middle, step back. Now he needs help into three's arms. Yeah. 
One will work, left then right. Darren staying with him. Six alone on the wing. Nobody there, so he'll take a three ball, and it's shy, actually it was gonna be two. Jags will let it go out and get the ball. Jags took a timeout, 43 seconds to go in the half. Darren, right side, off the glass and just wasn't on frame. And the Jags just can't buy a rebound. The Lakers all over it. And then a fake, fake you out there. One over to three. Three on the left side. Picks it up. McKellum using those long arms. And a timeout by the Lakers with 15 seconds. 13 seconds to go. And the Lakers will likely have the last shot if they're aware of the clock. So much of the time. You don't even realize the clock's going down. Darren trying to keep his hands in the way. Now McKellar's got there. Three gets it off somehow and a would have been a buzzer beater. Didn't drop. 11-3 at the break. It's all Lakers so far. So we begin half number two with the teams going the other direction. Jags have a lot of room to make up. Eight points down and they're going left to right. Darren starts with it in his hands. Pulls up and can't find the lane for the shot. Fires over to Sarin. Sarin to the paint. Loses it off his foot and one will hold it and let him come on down. Darren runs with him, and one lets him go by, gets the shot off high off the glass, rolls over, and they'll have a rebound, the Lakers that is. Six from deep, didn't get it there, and smartly the Jags let it go out of bounds. Inbound, ball to Brown. Brown, little crossover move, into the paint he goes, fires but never squared up, and the Lakers have it. So the percentage of one shot and then the Lakers getting the rebound is very great and has not bode very well for the Jags to be able to get very many points and nearly a loose ball. Darren all over it, reaching around and in, no foul called, gets rid of it, 2-4 with it on the wing. Gabriel picks him up in the baseline, hands go up. 24 looking for help, handoff to one, still tied up in the corner. And then the loop ball's loose, Sarin scoops it up and here comes five the other direction. Keeping the dribble alive, needed to shoot, might have drawn the foul, and then right into 24's hands. So the quicker shot would have paid off, maybe given him a chance at the line, but just couldn't find it in his heart to do it. One now has it on the right. Screen set, well, and the layup rolls across. So well executed offense there. Schmidt throws one up high, loose, and somehow the Lakers get it. And then a scrappy play there, 33. Working his way down the right side. Right handed dribble and stolen from the back. Didn't see six coming. And then Camarillo not dribbling it and they'll call him for the travel. Darren making quick haste to the goal. Right side layup and this one had a chance. Wouldn't go and then a tie up rebound. So no points here in the second half. One as he carries the ball into the paint, gonna try to change that and then blocked by Gabriel. Gabriel had a ton of blocks in the last game and he's picking up where he left off. So as the Jags get it, even though Gabriel blocked it, so they must have thought the Lakers touched it somewhere along the path to go out of bounds. Darren all the way up and to the rim. Gabriel with a good jump, back up and got the foul. And that's why you coach it that way, you go right back up and you'll nearly always draw that chance at the line. So number 23 here with a chance to shrink the deficit, and he does. Just needed one shot to do it, and nothing but the nine line on the net to show for it. So for the first time today, number one will take a seat on the bench and get a breather. Gabriel will line up for his second shot and missed to the left side, and 24 has got another rebound. Darren thought about trying to tie him up, but to no avail. 11 to four the count. 24 all the way in, Gabriel slides over and blocks him on the shot, and he'll go to the line. Schwartz, catch and shoot, and a bank in, and the Lakers have 12. So the full five change out for the Jags. 2.45 in the third, Schwartz takes aim. A lot of backspin on the ball and finds the net. Good at the line for him. 13-4, Lakers, Howard takes it down floor. Seven around the horn, into the paint, looking for a lane, three guarding him, backing him up. Thought about passing it off, now holds it, 
Gonna have to make a decision somewhere along the line. Then he turns and fires too high on the glass, and it's into the Lakers' hands. Three, who's had a lot of rebounds himself today, will now dribble down. Howard will pick him up. And then a shot comes off and nets it! Wow! Right there from the corner. Just pulled up and shot it, and the Lakers are flexing. 15 to 4, minute 45 in the third. And Jags might have looked across the floor today and knew they had a high task in hand. Howard to the floor as he shoots. McKellar races over, grabs the board, has a dribble alive. I guess you always do at this level. King. Trying to get it, and 24 steps out of bounds. So King over to Howard. Kai uses the dribble to the left side. Now back to the right side. Eyes up. Sees McKellar in the corner. Going to hang on to it down the baseline. Now he sends the defender into the air with the pump fake. Dribbles again. Pulls up. Fires high. Nobody there. Six has a rebound. High pass. Howard swipes at it, three gets it. Three ball, maybe. Two, Schmidt there to put it back in and points off the offensive rebound happen again for the Lakers. 17 to four, 25 point mercy rule in the second half in effect, although the last game didn't have it when it could have had it, so they may not, they may just freeze the score and let them play on the rest of the way. Not there yet though, 24, works to his right, uncontested into the paint, off the glass, hot, bounces too hard. And a wrestle for the ball there. And it winds up in the Purple's hands off the edge of the backboard. McKellar scrambles for it. And he and Schmidt will tie up and go to the floor. Clock expires the quarter. One minute to go till we play the final chapter, 17-4 Lakers. So to start the fourth, Perez will inbound to Darren. And the Jags will see if they can pull a rabbit out of their hat. Darren may be the guy to do it if they can. Dribbles towards the basket, takes the shot. No foul called. And three, who's definitely got double digit rebounds today, will dish it off to one. And then Darren blocked the pass. May have gotten some skin, but got away with it. Shot goes up off the back of the edge of the rim. Three over the top. 23 saves it. Morales, that is. Dribbles towards the goal. Pooty trying to defend him, and Darren will pick up the loose ball. Lakers will let him bring it down. And he'll sprint to the left side and then have his pass deflected by three. Purple coach calling for three to feed it to the guy under the basket, but he didn't see him. Shot goes up, rolls over the back of the rim. Out to one, jump shot from the back edge of the key. Nothing going, gets his own rebound. And then Darren swipes him. And here comes Brown, coming the other direction. Up he goes, and he knocks it in. And Darren, with a little bit of jaw in, has the bucket. 17-6. Darren staying with one. Trying to swipe him again. And he loses the ball. Darren wrestles around for it, and they'll tie up. Jag ball, 17-6. Darren with it in his hands. Thought about the three, and then he picks it up. Goes around the left side. Dribbles in. Shot goes up and misses. And trying to save it is McKellar, but he couldn't get there in time. A double man screen set on Darren. One fires from downtown. Misses the left side, and it's Black's ball. A shot here could cut the lead to single digits. Perez trying to find a lane, blocked. 20, 33's got it, and he goes up and fouled. He'll go to the line. Thomas to shoot, and front edge of the rim won't drop. Shot number two as we close in on the halfway mark of the fourth quarter, and this one's too hot off the top of the glass into the Lakers' hands. 24, Schwartz has the board, and he'll give it to Monjaris. Pump fake, three off his hands, can't save it. Soren, Gabriel, and Kai check in for the Jags. Darren crosses over, bump from the back, backs up for the three, thought about it, moves back around. Soren into the paint, he goes, and then 24 takes it right out of his hands. Says, I'll take that, twice my size. One, swipe by Darren, ball's loose. 
three has it, wheels around, back over to one, thought about the deep three, and then they're gonna call him on the travel. They don't always call the travel, but it's a subjective call, and the ref thought that it deserved it there. Darren fakes the pass, back into the lane on the left side, three Lakers around him, he's gotta find a lane, and he does. McKellar goes airborne for it, then out of bounds, couldn't save it, but good effort. 17-6, the count still. 2.37 in the game. Darren stays on one. Races over, fires a three way off the top of the glass, and 24's got it. Turn around, put back, shy of the mark, and nearly had a rebound to Devin, but three took it out of his hands, and they'll call a jump ball. So under the basket of the Lakers, will they inbound? 24 there, turns around, dishes off to 23. Kai putting his hands up, can't get the shot up, trying to give it back to 24. He's trying to find a lane. Pass goes outside to six, Sarn picks him up. He'll fire the three short, and Darren races over to grab it, and somehow off of the Lakers' hands, it stays with the Jags. I think the press can happen now under two minutes, and one will take advantage of it. Darren will have to go help him. Never mind, Kyle just raced past him. Off the right side, stays inbound somehow. On the baseline and crumpled by 24. So the Jags will stack up here on the inbound. Find Saren, Saren fires, too deep. And three has it, they can press him. And Gabriel running with him the whole way. Fires over 24, turns around and shoots, didn't even look. 23 has it, Morales dishes off to 24. And uh, McKellar trying to wrestle him. Gabriel gets his hands up and Seven's got it. And they'll press him, he can go, he doesn't have to wait. The press is live, so he'll have to just dribble. 24 trying to run with him. Seven finds Darren, hits the ground. Darren trying to split the defense. 36 seconds to go, Kyle take a deep shot. Wouldn't find it, and one saves it. They need to turn around and play defense. Darren thinks he will. One deep shot off the left side. 24 there to collect. Still couldn't roll in. Three will take his chances. Too high. Gets another board. And it rolls off and six has it. Baseline jumper. Short. Kai in his hands. And he needs to make a quick move. Seven seconds. Darren have one more chance to draw this to at least a single digit lead. Up he goes. And what makes it in. And it's 17-8. And that's the ball game. A nine point win for the Lakers. The Jags fall to 500, two and two, but a good hot fart game. And they've got two more in the regular season before a potential playoff opportunity. We'll see you then.